What's going on smart people? Today I want to talk about having a job as an undergraduate physics major. I'm going to give my opinion on whether or not I think you should have one and one job in particular that I recommend every physics major have for at least a semester time permitting. I don't think I'm going to shock anybody if I say that studying physics, learning physics, can take quite a bit of time out of your day. But I think that the nature of that time is fundamentally different for time as it pertains to working and studying. And when I say working, I'm not talking about jobs yet. I'm talking about things like worksheets, problem sets, projects, things like that. I often like to use the analogy of comparing working under some time constraint to gas occupying the volume of some container. You decrease the volume of the container, the amount of gas is still there, it just starts to feel a bit more pressure. Similarly, you decrease the amount of time you have to finish the project, you still have to do it, you just have to now be more efficient with your time. Now there are obvious limitations to this, like there has to be some baseline time it will take to finish the job at maximum efficiency until you can't actually get the job done anymore, just like how if you keep decreasing the volume of the box, eventually it'll burst. But for me, the less time I have to do things like worksheets or projects, whatever, the less time I'll find myself doing things like checking my phone or Facebook or just succumbing to regular distractions. I make that time count more. But I don't think that studying is like this. I don't think it's realistic to think that you can establish a baseline amount of time for how long it'll take you to understand something. It's something I'm less willing to risk. Studying is more of a sacred thing, I guess, for me. And maybe you have a better grasp than I do of how long it takes you to understand things, but for me it, it always fluctuates. I can never I can never predict how long it's going to take me to get something. And the whole point of me saying all this is that when I got a job while being an undergraduate physics major, I was able to make it work without letting my grades suffer by working smarter with my schoolwork. And there's a whole bunch of strategies that will help you work more efficiently, like turning the internet off if you don't actually need it. I'll actually leave a link to a video I really recommend that Thomas Frank did that I like to revisit at times just to make sure I'm doing everything I can to eliminate all unnecessary distractions. But please, if there's one thing to take away from this so far, it's that if you do get a job, don't let it affect your studying. Don't let it put any more pressure on how much time you have to study. That should stay constant. And keep in mind, when I make these kinds of videos, I tend to steer away from talking about the things that should be extremely obvious. Like, I I'm not going to be like, oh, okay, you're, you're trying to better your study habits, so you're going out with your friends the night before, right? All right, good. Make sure you keep doing that. That stuff is like, come on. But I do think it's worth it to point out that we're usually not as productive or as efficient as we can be. For example, I would have friends at ODU. It's a huge military school because it's right by the naval base. And I would have friends who are in the Navy who just, they work in the Navy 40 hours a week, but they still have to go to school. I would see these people walking with the book in their hand, reading in the hallways. It's like, until you're doing that, you've got some time. You've got some time that you can squeeze together. But now I'd like to talk about a job that I highly recommend anyone who has the opportunity to, to experience, and that's being a tutor. I was a tutor through the athletic department at ODU for about two years before I graduated, and I gotta say, there were so many occasions where I'd be the only one in my class remembering some relationship or identity simply because I got to tutor things like algebra and calculus, differential equations, all that stuff every single day. It was just constantly fresh in my head. I just feel like that job made my foundation so rock solid because you're responsible to teach it to other people and you don't want to let them down. I feel like communication is such an underrated skill to have in physics and being able to explain things to people who learn in different ways is just invaluable. So if you're interested in being a tutor, usually all you have to do is Google your university name followed by tutoring services, give them a call, ask what it takes to become a tutor at the university. Usually there's like a GPA slash credit requirement. And if you take that kind of job, I, I don't think you'll ever regret it. And in my case, I should have a video up within the next week talking about my personal online Skype tutoring that I'll be holding. For those of you who are interested, not going to get into details in this video because I know that's not why you clicked on this video. So look forward to that if you are interested. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to do the subscrumblings and the hard eyes and all that good stuff. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions regarding time management or anything of that nature, and I'll see you guys there.